Hello everybody, it's JP and I hope you are very well tonight and we are doing my special salmon, I'll call it salmon a la JP, which is more of a Chinese way uh, with noodles and other things with it. So let's go through the ingredients and let's start straight away. Now before we do that, I'm just going to put the oven on. Now we don't want it on very hot, we just want it sort of 60 degrees just to keep the salmon hot while we're doing the rest of the dish. Okay. We've got some basic, basilic, ba, um, classic basil pesto. We've got some king prawns. Uh, we've got a pack, which is about 375 grams. Olive oil, black pepper, salt, garlic, onion. We've got a bag of uh, fresh egg noodles. And we've got two pieces of salmon fillet. Okay? Right. Well, that's a very simple dish. Uh, very quick and there's hardly any cooking time for this one. Oh my god, I nearly forgot to take it out. My fish cube. It is obviously on the recipe as well. The fish cube. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do um, to start with, I'm just going to clean my bone, make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, we are going to roast the salmon. So you take your pan, so put the uh, stove on very high, very high straight away. Take our pan, we're going to put, now this is a non-stick pan, if you have a non-stick pan, please use it, it is the best for that, okay? So, we take our bit of olive oil at the bottom, okay, and we take our salmon fillets. Now, if yours has a skin on, you need to take like this one, we need to take the skin off. So, as we've done before, um, we basically go right at the end and we slice the salmon like that under the skin okay now I'm just going to take this bit off as well which I would put part of the sauce so that's one bit you see all the scales actually left on the um, on the board so you slide underneath the fish like so go and now uh, we are getting closer and we're still waiting for the um, world record people to come back to me to tell me that if we can go ahead with the world record which would be great so hopefully it will be soon okay so we've got our fish and we're going to put it in the pan so make sure you got plenty of olive oil underneath you take the fish like that to just slide in around make sure you go on both sides okay that's one done and we do the other one. Olive oil, not too much olive oil, it's just to give it a nice um, color. Okay, so we've done that. I'm just going to clean the bottom of the pan because I just realized we're on the fish. And it's going to be all sticky on the stove. Right, so we've done that. We're going to put a bit of salt on the top of the fish. Like so. And some black pepper. Turn it around, make sure it goes right underneath, like that, and a bit more salt, not too much, and a bit of black pepper. Okay, so that's our salmon sauteed, put it on the stove, nice and hot, give it a nice, um, um, a nice heat basically, straight away. Now I'm looking for my dish, there we go, which I'm going to use to put the fish in and put it in the oven. As I said, the oven is not to cook, it's to keep it warm while we do the rest of the sauce. Next thing we know, uh, we're going to do is take our little pan, put probably about a cup of water in there, or half, actually a half a cup, there we go, half a cup, and you put it on the stove as well, on the stove, and then you're going to put, <coughs> which is something I never do, before this one you need to, I'm going to put my fish cube inside, in the water. Lovely, and we're just going to boil the water like that with the fish cube inside. Okay, then we're going to take our onion. Oh, I'm just going to clean my knife. There's a thing about scales everywhere. It's quite funny because actually they do sell, they say, 
those fish, um, fillet you buy, are on scale. But then you put it on a board and you got plenty of scale. So I'm not too sure what's going on here. I suppose it is one of those marketing strategies to make sure people buy those instead of something else. But never mind. There we go. So, we're doing well on time, I believe. This is nice big onion, nice and fresh. Um, I was reading this thing on the um, internet a couple of days ago about how onion actually can actually, uh, from the time they actually picked, and the time they actually come to your um, table, uh, it's probably about months, which is crazy, really. Right, let's turn the fish. Okay. You see? We just need a little bit. Just give me a nice color. Okay, so we're not going to leave it very long. In the meantime, I'm just going to cut the onion. So we want quite small pieces tonight. So small slices. Like so. Then again like that. And like that. And we cut them in small pieces. Okay, I think my fish is ready. So if you want to take yours as well, and don't forget, as ever, if you if I'm going too fast for you, just press pause and start again. So I'm just going to take the fish and put them in the dish for now. Don't put it in the oven yet because you don't want it to overcook. Leave the pan on it because we're going to put the onions in. So I'm just going to finish this one. Okay. So good cut. Lovely. Okay, so we are done with the onion. So I'm going to put the onion in the pan with a lovely juice of the fish left at the bottom. Okay. We'll do the garlic. So we want like three or four pieces of garlic, no more. There we go. We are starting to plan our trip to China. I'm just going to give a quick stir. Like that. Make sure all the juices are in the um, onion. And I'm crying again. Gosh, that's a daily thing now for me to cry on TV. There we go. Okay, so three might be one more. Oh, I can see the... Um, here we go. So that's our garlic done. Okay, I was just going to cut in small pieces and put it in the pan. Uh, my water is boiling as well, which is great. I hope you're crying as I'm crying. The smell of the onion makes me cry. So, there we go. Cut this one. Okay, you make sure the onion does don't burn. Um, we don't want them to burn at all. Oh, that is lovely. So garlic and onions, a bit of salt, usual amount, and we're going to put our black pepper. Okay. At that point, we're going to put the prawns in, like so. So just drop the prawns in the pan. So much packaging, isn't it? Fortunately, supermarket you can't buy any other way these days. So 
that's it. Now we want to give a good roasting of the whole thing. So leave it on the fire for a few minutes. That looks absolutely wonderful. Okay, our water with our fish stock is dissolved. That's perfect. I'm sure it's going to put, let's leave a piece of fish left from earlier. Okay, let it cook. So give a good stir from time to time. I'm just going to clean my board. Good stir from time to time. Okay. Lovely. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to take our pesto. We're just going to put a little drop on the top of the salmon. Like that. So, make sure you go sort of cover it up. Lovely. On the top. That's absolutely superb. Now, I think we are nearly done. So the prawns, the onions, everything getting nice and lovely. Yeah. So what we're going to do, okay, is put our water and stock into the pan, like so. Make sure all the onions actually go inside. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And we're going to let it cook for. 15, 20 minutes. So what we need to do is you need to keep an eye on the water. Uh, the oven is still on, so that's fine. The salmon is ready. Um, we're going to put it back in the oven in a minute. So let's say 15 minutes. Let the water boil nicely in the pan. Uh, keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't stuck to, stick to the pan. And put press pause, and we'll see you back again in 15 minutes where we're going to finish the sauce. Put the salmon back in the oven, uh, in the oven to uh, get nice and warm. Then we will finish the dish together. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey everybody, it's been 15 minutes now and um, as you can see, my um, reduction is ready. So what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to take our salmon okay, and put it in the oven. Make sure it's nice and warm. So it's going to keep it warm until we serve the dish. And what we're going to do is take our noodles, a bag of noodles. Okay. We're going to put it in the pan. Like so. Now you may want to take a fork, or two forks at that point, and just separate the noodles. When they're warm, they'll be fine. They're pre-cooked already, so... When well, they're cooked already, all you need to do is to make sure they get in the pan properly. So make sure they get all the juices in, like so. Looks lovely. Mm. It smells delicious. So my noodles are now in with the prawns and the garlic and the onions. So, I'm just going to test make sure they're hot enough. My pan is very, very hot, so if yours is not hot enough, just pause and press again. Mm. It's ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is take my plate. Okay, and just before I serve, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the pesto we had earlier. So just uh, like a spoonful inside. Pesto and prompts actually goes on very, very nicely and with a salmon. So look at that. You get a fishy taste, but with a bit of pesto inside. Okay, so you take your plate and you take some noodles, like so more for this dish here and take a few prawns obviously make sure you make um, take a spoon for this one so a few prawns into the dish 
make sure you sort of equalize between the two plates otherwise you create trouble there we go. so and then you take your piece of salmon which should be nice lovely and warm by now oh yes lovely and hot and you put it on the top of your plate like so and that's it that's your salmon with prawns um, salmon what I call it salmon a la JP which is Chinese way of doing it um, which is your salmon your prawns your pasta noodles and everything else um, the onions and the garlic okay I hope you really enjoyed this is a very healthy meal so I hope you enjoyed this one and I hopefully see you soon take care